Hey there everybody. Thanks so much for all the subscribers that I've been getting. I really, really appreciate it so much. And what I'm going to be talking about today is wheelies. You know, doing a wheelie on the wheelchair and why they're so important. And I'm going to show you different examples on why and how. And the first one is right here in my room. Or getting out of my room. So here at my door, I put this styrofoam to protect this wire that's Ethernet wire and the tape. And without it, it could go up the, the little step without doing a wheelie, but I'm pretty sure it's not good for the front wheels, the casters, for all the parts, all the moving parts inside of there. I don't think it's that good for it. So I always go up it in a wheelie, or a slight wheelie. Even if it's like a small wheelie, like a little one just to get the wheels just, it'll save it and it makes it so much smoother. Also I feel like for stopping, to be able to stop on a dime and not kind of fall forward or being pushed forward, your momentum being pushed forward, when you put go into a wheelie you like it your your butt goes into the seat more instead of like and to, to fight the, the momentum of you stopping instead of your body going forward so when i when i stop i try to always stop that way i really like it and it makes good for like fast spins too i'll, check it, I'll show you right now kind of do these spins in like my dance uh routines uh, that i'm doing so you go And even for going outside doors, you know, you put in a wheelie, this, the frame, you know, I get over the frame, stop there, and then go down. And the same thing for going back up, too. Let's make sure it's a good angle, okay. Go. So I get it there. And then with this frame, the wheels don't really get all the way on the top top of the frame because if not, then I'd be able to just to put my hands here on the side of the frame and pull myself in, which I can do sometimes. But since the first step is low enough, what I do is I just get in a wheelie and then I lean forward and I just go through. I just go through with it all the way. And just another one, just another one so you can see it, my hands, what they do. Alright, and I want to say another thing about wheelies because not everybody can do wheelies. They don't have the strength in their hands to do it or they're just really scared to do wheelies. And um, But if you can't do wheelies, then that just makes you a little bit more dependent because if there's some kind of an obstacle that you can't get by because you can't do a wheelie, then you're going to have to wait for somebody or you're going to have to maybe take the long way around if there is one. Um, what else? But just because you're a quadriplegic doesn't mean that you can't do wheelies. I mean, if you're using a manual wheelchair and you're a quadriplegic, man, super props to you. And, I mean, I know some guys that can do it. They're not the best wheelies. But, hey, they get around and they get, they get it done. But they definitely, it's good to know it. It's good to have it done. But that said, thank you, guys. You know, and then we have this. Two steps that you want to get down. You're going to have to do that in a wheelie. 100%. Okay, here I go. Casters up. And then go really up like that. Lock up. And then I'm actually able to lock my door because I could do a wheelie and put the front wheels on the front step. I lock the, the left side because my hand is going to go and then I da, 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 do whatever I need to do. And then I mean, it's safe to lock both of them, but I usually just lock the, the left side and that's it. But yeah. And wheelies, you know, if you're in, in going down a slope, like a, a decline, it's better to do the wheelies on a decline because you have more control and it's, you, you can catch some speed and you don't have to worry about the front wheels getting caught on something and then making you flip out of the chair. 
I feel a little safer going down slopes in a wheelie too. All right, and now this is an obstacle that isn't too bad, but I actually like almost fell out of my chair last week. I was coming here pretty slow and the front wheel hit right there and I didn't go over it or something happened, got caught and I didn't go over it and I fell forward like this and I had to put my hand on the ground and get back up. Uh, thank God I wasn't really carrying anything and I was just coming from the, the barber shop. But, you know, if I can just go over this whole thing, like my wheels don't even touch it. I just go over the whole thing in a wheelie and it's, it's so much smoother than having to go and, and keep going through with your front wheels through this. Boom. Oh, I see the spot that I hit. I hit right there, like that, or something like that. I don't know. I got in there. Yeah. Right there. So this could be prevented with a wheelie. Very simple. Even simple turns. It makes it easier because there's a little a little step there, a little bump, and if I if I go I have to I have to I do all this effort. I have to hold with my left and then push so much more with my right. And then I have to worry about this bump. But if I just come in and on a wheelie, you know, I just give one good push with this hand that I know it's gonna give me on a wheelie hold this hand to keep it firm to turn and I go into a wheelie and I'm turning at the same time. So it's kind of like a little bit of less effort with a strong motion of, you know, of the other hand to put you in a wheelie. So it's like when you do a wheelie, you should be able to get into one just by pushing yourself forward. I feel like, you know, maybe you don't want to be that, that wheelie-ish, that, that toppy, I guess it's called, I don't know. But even simple things like that, it helps. And then this is the entrance for my my house this is how I come inside my house so to get through here not in a wheelie look how like I even that motion like I have to at least put the wheelchair and like give a little bit of like you know to get it up like it's 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 a pain in the butt to go without you know without the wheelie so if I just come in even if I'm blasting fast since this wheel is so big any of these little things like rocks or anything I'm not gonna get stuck and I'll just go right over it as long as my hands are out here to hold and stabilize me to pick which way I'm going I'm gonna be perfectly fine. And then that brings me to my next thing. My grandmother has that RV, and she has this. She has this line going right there, and this is a pretty thick line. And I've actually almost fallen because the front wheels don't go over that. And a little wheelie, even if it's with one hand, to get those front wheels over, it's okay. It'll, it, you can do it. even backwards so if you want to see with one hand back. but I'm also leaning back when I do it with one hand I'm also leaning back a little bit when I do it with two hands I really don't lean back because I have enough power to just go and do it and then to, to get in my house I, I still have to come over here and then I have this ramp to go to and then to turn at this ramp and turn without doing a wheelie it's not that bad you know so one time I didn't even see this little, this little, this is a regular extension cord, like a small one, not even like a commercial use one. And I almost fell, but the wheels, they went over it. Like when I, when I pushed through, I went over it. But what it, I was, when I was just going, like just gliding like that, it didn't really go over. So if I come here like this and then I have to go, it's like a, a bit, a bit much. Whereas if I just come and I do that, that spin that I showed you earlier, I come in, wheeling, turn, and then... I'm ready to go up. And then we have things like when you get up here, and I'm up here, I still have this little tile that I really can't go over, to be honest. Like, you can't just, I mean, you could push it over, but like you need some strength to do it. So what I do is, when I come up here, I zoom, and I just, and I, and I give a good push, like if I'm doing a wheelie, but since I'm at, a, at an incline or a decline, the wheelie, it doesn't look like I'm doing a wheelie, but I did the wheelie at the right time so the front wheels go over and I don't I don't have a little hiccup to like make me jolt, you know, or something like that. And then we have things like when you get up here and I'm up here, I still have this little tile that I really can't go over, to be honest. Like you can't just I mean you could push it over, but like you need some strength to do it. So what I do is when I come up here, I zoom and I just and I and I 
give a good push, like if I'm doing a wheelie, but since I'm at a at an incline or a decline, the wheel it doesn't look like I'm doing a wheelie, but I did the wheelie at the right time, so the front wheels go over, and I don't I don't have a little hiccup to like make me jolt, you know, or something like that. All right, and I also want to talk about going down because I did mention earlier about this down slope. That so let's just show you. This is no wheelie. You know, I get kind of stuck there, kind of push through it, and then going down, man. Going down is something like this. I mean, I feel like I could do it. I'm going to do it. But let's see at the end. Oh, look at the end. Like, I can't even go because... Yep, the foot plate got hit the ground when I was going on the down slope. So whenever you're going down slope, it's always better to go backwards. Always better to go like this, you know, than, than not. So real quick to show you the whole thing in, in wheelie. A lot easier, a lot safer. When I was backing out, this just happened. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't turn. I can't, I can't make it because of the, 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 the car behind me. So you just put in a wheelie and turn. I'm telling you, wheelies, if you could do wheelies, learn, get over your fear of wheelies. Get over your fear of wheelies if you can do them, if you're able to. If you're not able to, I recommend learning to get like a little a little front pop, you know, a little one just to get, you know, over obstacles. And then you could probably get better from there. But I highly recommend you guys do wheelies, learn how to get it, learn how to go steps, learn how to do all that stuff. Get comfortable in your chair because... If it's like me, like this should be the rest of your life. So take it easy, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If, if you like this, share it with somebody. Subscribe for me, please. And um, yeah, keep watching. I hope you like all my videos and take care. Happy New Year.